what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigerian politics all right guys uh, greetings to you wherever you are so i have this uh, video to share with you uh still on the issue of uh, yahaya bello and the efcc of course if you check my previous video i updated you uh tenable's role in uh, the case of yahaya bello uh, with EFCC. So I don't want to go into details of that particular story. <coughs> Sorry about that. So the latest update I have for you, just like I uh, said, I don't want to waste much of your time. The latest update I have for you is that Yaya Bello, as we already know, uh, I don't know if I should say Yaya Bello is on exile or whatsoever. Remember, uh, after EFCC raided his Abuja resident, uh, he was weeks away by the incumbent governor, uh, Osman Ododum. And ever since then, uh, Yaya Bello has not been seen in the public. He only communicated to his, uh, I think, eight. Uh, we also remember that um, uh, the military, uh, the DSS and the police, uh, has been enlisted to fish out Yaya Bello for the EFCC. And then the, the security details uh, was also withdrawn from Yaya Bello. Uh, but uh, looking at the whole scenario, this is the person that the security agencies are looking for. And then uh, they had to withdraw his security details. Meanwhile, his security details are supposed to be a lead, you understand, security details are supposed to serve as a lead uh, to Yahaya Bello. But the security details was withdrawn. Then how do you expect to, you know, find the person you are looking for if you had declared him wanted? And you have to withdraw his security details. It is not as if these people cannot, you know, find and fish out Yahaya Bello. He has eight people are there working for him. You understand but if it is something else the efcc will be quick in tracking uh maybe any other thing yahoo boys or whatsoever but it has gotten to a case of a politician who has been who has been accused of uh, 80 billion naira fraud it is now difficult for uh, him to be arrested <laughs> until he has been declared wanted all right, um, as we already know, they had some court orders on the issue of EFCC and Yaya Bello. And the latest update, uh, which I'm going to share with you guys, is that Yaya Bello is now busy printing, uh, sponsoring people to print banners and posters uh, to protest against EFCC. And then the, let me just share the video for you guys, then I'll come back and give you my own uh, personal opinion on this. So these are the uh, posters. Uh, Yaya Bello is, uh, you know, sponsoring people to print, to protest against uh, the EFCC. You can see uh, some of the insignia in these uh, posters. Nigeria uh, removed political uh, witch hunt from judiciary. You can see there. Uh, fighting corruption illegally is uh, corruption, uh, part of that insignia there. Follow due process of the law, okay? Uh, no justice in witch hunt. Uh, we are lawyers of conscience. Uh, fighting corruption illegally is corruption. Um, obedience to court order, not option. Obey court order, you can see that then. Uh, we are judiciary watch dogs. We are judiciary watch dogs. Let Governor Yaya Bello breed. Respect Governor Bello's right. Uh, an independent judiciary is better justice. Uh, let judiciary breed. Uh, an independent judiciary better justice. All right, guys, so um, these are part of those uh, posters and uh, insignia that uh, Yaya Bello is, uh, you know, busy sponsoring people 
uh, ahead of uh, protests against the EFCC. All right, of course, um, some lawyers and, um, or should I say, some chieftain and uh, other stakeholder uh, has already condemned the manner uh, in which EFCC uh, is using on this Yaya Bello's case. You understand that nobody is above the law. Whatever happens at least, the EFCC should respect uh, you know, the law first, even if they have a different approach uh, to arresting Yaya Bello. They should respect the law. Nobody is above the law except God himself. You understand, nobody is stopping the EFCC from doing their job, but they should respect court order and uh, follow due process. You know, no matter his offense, he still have right. He is innocent uh, until he is proven guilty. All right, so that is what uh, some stakeholder says, that whatever happened, the EFCC should, you know, uh, respect the rule of law in the course of carrying out their uh, assignment, they should respect uh, court orders. And then other people is of opinion that um, the FCC have power to arrest any criminal or any suspect without court order. But uh, let me know what you think about that on the comment section below. Then coming back home, I believe uh, for me, my own uh, personal opinion, I still stand for what some stakeholders said. I am still in support of what some stakeholders said, that um, EFCC should follow due process, all right? Uh, Yaya Bell is not the first person EFCC has uh, prosecuted, has arrested, or whatsoever, but they should, you know, follow due process on the cost of looking or arresting Yaya Bello. So nobody is stopping the EFCC from carrying out their duty, but uh, they should respect the law, the democracy our founding father fought for. That is just the truth. And then we also uh, know about sometimes the mode of operation of all the security agencies, the way they wake people away, the way they harass people with intimidation, the way they arrest uh, people with impunity and so on. So they should follow due process no matter anything. Now, this is the person that you declared wanted. And this is the same person you enlisted uh, the police, the DSS, the military, to help you uh, in arresting him. If it was something else, you understand, the DSS would have gotten this Yaya Bello a long time ago. They would have tracked and arrested him. You are looking for a wanted person. And... The police has just withdrawn his security details. I mean, if it was, uh, you know, a serious issue, the way they claim, the security details will be in a better position to, you know, expose uh, the whereabouts of Yaya Bello. But you are in a hurry. You hurriedly withdrawn uh, security details of uh, Yaya Bello. The people that are supposed to help you, in getting Yaya Bello. You withdrawn it from him. How do you expect to uh, get Yaya Bello? All right, I quickly wanted to share uh, the update from Yaya Bello for you guys. See you in another update.